onyx. It is written all over the Bible. But if you are walking the street, driving by, you might come across something called signs in a form of a word, a letter or a picture that just pops up suddenly in front of you. In the Bible, God warned Bible characters about the destruction or something that might happen. Going back to Genesis 2 verse 17, it says that God warned Adam. So Genesis 2 verse 17, it says, But you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. This is what the Lord said to Adam and it was a warning or an instruction that if you eat from this tree of knowledge of good and evil, then you'll certainly die, everything will turn around, something might happen. But Eve got tempted by the devil and, he gave, and she gave the peace to Adam to eat and everything just turned upside down. The world changed, their eyes opened, and everything was different. The main aim of the devil is found in John 10 verse 10. It says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to give them life and have it to full. That is the key of the devil. In 1 Peter 5 verse 8, God warned us and it is clearly written, be a lot of sober minded. The enemy, the devil prowls like a lion waiting for someone to devour. The devil likes destruction, no doubt. The devil loves destruction and he will do his best to bring you down. That's how he entertains himself. But there are few ways how to tackle this enemy down. In 1 Peter 5 verse 9 it says, Resist him. Stand firm in faith because you know your fellow believers throughout the world that is undergoing the same suffering. In Ephesians 6 verse 11 it says, Put on the armor of God so that you can take stand against the devil's schemes. This is pretty much our instruction. To put on the armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. This is an instruction. So what are the armor of God? Hmm. What are the armor of God? Verse 14. 14 it says, Stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around you with the breastplate of righteousness in place and your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows that comes towards you wear the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit that is the word of God. These are the armor of God. As a believer, you must guard your spirit. Try to secure it from the fiery dart of the devil. There are certain but important things you must understand so you can prevent it from happening. Sin. Romans 6 verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, sin brings fear, it brings a total separation from God, just like Adam and Eve. Their eyes were open when they ate from the tree of good and evil, and fear crawled towards them. They hid behind the bush so that God wouldn't see them. Sin stops us from getting closer to God. Thank you for listening.